Hey cold cats. Today I'm going to be talking about the five acromas. What? Five acromas? Yes. I'm talking about five different acromas. There's a white one and a red one. And I made three more just as a thought experiment. What would other acromas look like? So we're all pretty familiar with Acroma Angel of Wrath. She costs five and three white. Legendary creature Angel. She's a six six. She also has Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Haste, Protected from Black, and Protected from Red. That's a lot of abilities on a creature. Uh, she was made a while ago, but she still can be a beatdown sometimes. And that Haste makes her unexpected sometimes as well. So let's look at some other Acromas now. The first Acroma I want to talk about is the first alternate Acroma that they made, which kind of started this whole idea. Well, if they can make a red one, they can make one for any color, right? Maybe not in the story, but it's still fun to think about. So, a Chroma Angel of Fury costs three red and five for a six six, also a legendary angel. They'll all be legendary angels. They're all gonna cost three of a color plus five, so eight total, um, and be six six. So a Chroma Angel of Fury, it's from Planner Chaos, which they did kind of weird set, weird cards in that set. A Chroma can't be countered. She has flying, trample, protection from white and blue, as opposed to the black and red that the white one has, because those are the two enemy colors of white. So the red has protection from white and blue, which is red's enemy colors. And that's kind of an older thought where they have enemy colors working against each other. They don't do that as much anymore. But anyway, she also has fire breathing, which means she has an activated ability of one red mana to give herself plus one plus zero until end of turn. And she also has morph. So for three, you can put her down as a two, two, and then flip her for three and three red, and she will turn over. So if you want to get her on the field early and attack with her earlier, you can play her for morph. And some people didn't really like that she had morph. They want to see something more related to the other Chroma. So instead of a Chroma Angel of Fury, I made a Chroma the Furious Angel. So she also costs five and three red, just like the other red Chroma. But this one has haste, flying, double strike, and trample, still fire breathing. But instead of morph, she has whenever a Chroma deals combat damage, uh, you exile the top card of your library. If you do, you can have it deal damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to a target creature or player. So red loves doing damage, all about direct damage. So that's what this Akroma wants to do. She gets in, she has trample, she has haste, she's hitting the turn she comes out, and she has fire breathing to do even more damage. And her ability triggers on hit, so for double strike means you hit the opponent, flip the top card, do damage, hit again, flip again. And, you know, I think that it just shows how much red wants to do damage. And this may be a broken card, it might be too good, uh, you know, maybe if you make like a kind of Yuriko deck based on it, where you put like Phyrexian Dreadnought on top of your library or something like that, you just get to win the game right after that. But if not, you know, who knows? It's just a thought experiment. I think it looks cool. I think it's more fun than the current red one. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So we looked at, we started with the white one, then we looked at the red one. But I think after that, we're gonna go in color pie order. So white, blue, black, red, green. We're gonna go to the blue one next. So we have a Chroma Angel of Calm. So this Acroma is, you know, focused, ready to do damage but she's not gonna get taken advantage of. She costs five and three blue, of course, six, six, legendary angel. She has flash, flying, hexproof, and prowess. So when you play spells, she gets bigger with prowess. Uh, when she enters the battlefield, you scry equal to the number of creatures you control. So that helps you get to the next uh, combat trick on top of your library. And when a creature you control is Targeted by a spell you don't control, you get to draw a card. So this Akroma is really good at protecting your army, making sure you win with that army. So you're about to swing in, someone wants to path one of your creatures. 
they can't pass the chroma because she has hex proof, but maybe they want to pass your general and she'll let you draw for that. And she basically just kind of slows down the opponent from picking your army apart before you can get in for that lethal swing. So I think that, you know, it keeps the fo focus on creatures, which blue sometimes doesn't stay focused on creatures, but this helps those blue creatures swing across for the win in an angelic way. Next, we're gonna look at a Chroma Angel of Death. So this legendary angel has flying, double strike, death touch, and when a creature comes into play, you can sacrifice one of your own creatures to destroy that creature. So this black Akroma cares only about things dying. She has death touch, so whatever she hits is gonna die. Plus, if you have creatures to spare and the opponents are playing creatures, you sacrifice those creatures to destroy the creatures that your opponents are playing. That way, this Akroma just destroys everything on the battlefield. She loves it because she cares specifically for death. And another thing that I had room for on this card was flavor text. The original flavor text for Chroma was no rest, no mercy, no matter what. And that's also the flavor text on Chroma's memorial. So what I did for the, the cards that did have room for flavor text was I took that original flavor and tried to use the same words, mix it around to make something similar, but still fit the different colors. So this black, a chroma has the flavor text of no rest, no mercy from the wicked. So this is kind of a callback to that, you know, that old saying, no rest for the wicked. And it has the mercy in there to keep it on theme with the original flavor text. So I thought that was fun to keep in theme with it, but um, maybe it's stupid, I don't know. You can let me know if I should just drop all the flavor text from these cards. Um, but I, I like flavor text on my custom cards. I think it kind of helps get the theme of what I was trying to do with the card across. And so finally, we're on the green Acroma, Acroma Angel of Growth. So green cares about creatures, cares about growing, and that's true with this Acroma as well. So this legendary angel has Flying, First Strike, Trample, Vigilance, and Lifelink. And when a Chroma deals damage, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. So this is similar to another angel that we've seen before, but this Chroma has many more abilities, and I think that makes it worth it. Even though she costs more, she's in green, she's a bigger hitter. And we can also look at her flavor text, no mercy from the rest. So this is kind of summing up Acromas here with all her, her rhinoceros and her lion and her wolf, and they're all coming to do battle. You know, green cares about those creatures swinging into the red zone, and this Acroma is gonna help pump up your entire army to get everyone in for that damage to close out the game. So let me know if you liked these Acroma cards and if you thought anyone was particularly cool. If there were, were any cards that you liked, please let me know. If there's any more cards that you think of and you want me to create, I will gladly do that for you. And please like and subscribe or share the video. It really means a lot to me if you do. Thank you. See you next time.